hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it um i want to start this video out off by um correcting something okay i want to correct something all right i told y'all you're never too old to learn okay so if you you know something is threw at you and you threw it out there you know and it's wrong you correct it so i want to say this you know somebody came in my comment section and they said that Mia J had a brother named Aaron. So I want to correct that. Unless and her father had more kids by somebody else, then that is incorrect. Okay. Now, what I do want to say is, you know, she has a grandfather named Aaron, but not, not no brother. Okay. My understanding, she has, you know, Mia J's mother had three kids. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to correct that off the top. Now, it don't mean anything as far as, you know, I told y'all it probably didn't mean nothing anyway. But uh, I still stand on what I said. I do believe that there are some ties in here with what happened to Dolph and the reaction that people was giving off. I do believe there are some ties. And I do believe it could have something to do with her brother too being taken out the reason why her attitude is so you know nonchalant about Dolph I, I really feel that she felt that you know some kind of way if her brother wouldn't have got tied into Dolph's stuff or whatever 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 he would still be here but the thing of it is Dolph didn't tell her brother to move there he followed the money. Okay, y'all? Her brother wanted to come to Memphis because she hit the jackpot by hooking up with Dolph. And everybody's all in Dol Dolph's pocket, my understanding. Okay? Now, I don't, I'm going to try to remember this. Dolph had to put her family. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. Her family. On a little, you know. He had to put a little restraint on giving money to them. Okay, y'all? Okay? Like you give your kids a little allowance. He had to put them on an allowance. Because apparently, the more he gave, the more they wanted. It wasn't just his family. He had to worry about other people. That felt like he was a bank. And I understand that. Okay? The more money you make, the more other people around you, they want from you. They feel like it is, you know, open season. You got it, so give it. Okay, this is how some people feel. Okay, so I want y'all to pay attention to that. Pay attention to the fact that Dolph was taken out right after her brother was taken out. Okay? Um, and just, like I said, pay attention to her attitude. Okay? Attitude means a lot. If you care for somebody or you're hurting that they're gone, you're not going to, um, it's no way you're not going to show it. And the world sees it. The world is looking at the difference. It's not just me, okay, y'all? The world is looking at the difference between her brother being taken out and Dolph being taken out. It ain't just coming out of my mouth. It's coming out of everybody's mouth that was around her and people that live in Memphis, Everybody's saying this, okay, y'all? So it ain't just coming from me. Um, I'm going to talk about these these agents, you know, a.k.a. Satan's kids. <laughs> I want to talk about these people, okay? And before I start talking about these people, I want, you know, to bring something to your attention. One thing about Satan, y'all, he's good at deceiving, okay, y'all? Remember that. He's always good at deceiving somebody. 
This is where the, the wolf in sheep's clothes came from. You could take the most beautiful person in the world. And they could be the most cold-hearted person in the world. And you don't even see it coming. Okay, y'all? So I want y'all to pay that attention too. Now, this is Yari, y'all. This is Yari. Now, a lot of people try to come in my comment section and they say, this is a good guy. This is a good guy. You know, you picking on him. Good guys don't put out posts saying, I went viral and the bloggers got rich off of me. Okay? Now, let me tell y'all something. If this guy wouldn't have never came forward, the bloggers would have still been talking about Dolph's passing. His little bit that he put in there, people talked a little bit about the hundred thousand, but the hundred million, but it wasn't nothing that people got rich off of. Okay. And like I said before, if you go viral, that means you made the money off of it. Not the, not the bloggers. So he says weird things. Um, he also seems like a person that could be manipulated. Okay. Somebody can tell him, do this, do that, do this. And um, he'll do it, okay? People around him, all right? So I want y'all just to pay attention to that. We don't know if somebody put him up to that first video. And it definitely seemed like when he popped back on the scene, somebody put him up to that video to come back and say something, okay? Now, like I said, he didn't have much to say about Dolph. But, excuse me, y'all. He had a whole heap a lot to say about his music career. Okay, so you got to pay those things attention. Okay, now from the look of this picture, in every picture that he takes, I'm going to just be completely honest. He's a little weird looking to me. I don't know. It's just something about him that screams weird. Okay, y'all. I might be wrong, but not too many times am I wrong about, you know, a person when I see them like this. Okay. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to every time you see this guy, every time that he do come forward, he's throwing up these, you know, the devil signs, okay, y'all? And a lot of people, you know, that's been talking about this whole case, y'all. Every time they, you know, it leads back to Masonic stuff. It leads back to Eastern Star stuff. You know, with, you know, Dr. Kiel Moore, you know, people saying that, allegedly, y'all, that they're Eastern stars. Mia J, Eastern stars, okay? Should we leave Eastern stars out? Should we leave Masons out when we're, you know, it's clearly all over this case? No, we should not leave it out. Because if they are a part of this, then most likely this is a part of the case, okay, y'all? And you have to tie all this mess in together. It's just like I told you in Dallas. A lot of Masonic stuff. A lot of Eastern Star stuff. Okay? From like the police officers that were involved with Mo3 case and all this stuff. Okay? The bloggers. Now bloggers in this case are tied to, you know, people like this. That coming forth. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something about um, deception. Deception has changed down the years, down the line. It has changed. Y'all remember back in the days, you could be around somebody for years and you not know their true colors. But people are getting, you know, waking up now. They're waking up faster than they used to. Okay, y'all? Now, when you be about around somebody that's deceptive, it don't take long for them to show their true colors. Okay? That's one reason why a lot of people don't like Pisces. Okay? One of the very reasons that the main reasons why people do not like Pisces is they don't want to get red. Okay? We have a serious intuition about a person if you start talking to someone, if you start being around someone, communicating through social media 
to someone, um, something clicks when you're talking to them, when you're texting them, when you're this or that, and it lets you know something ain't right about this person. And it makes you take a step back, okay? And once you take that step back, it all you automatically get this sense of relief, like a weight lifted off your shoulder. And then we know, okay, if someone right about that person, got a bad energy or something, okay, they were sent to you, okay? Now, one thing that tells you that you're on the right path about something, somebody, whatever you're doing is when you got a whole bunch of stuff getting thrown at you, okay? When all of a sudden you got people coming at you or, you know, all, uh, drama, just drama. At the blue, you don't deal with nobody, but at the same time, you speak your mind. And then all of a sudden, you hit a snag where you got people coming at you, okay? Just like um, people coming in my comment section line, okay? Those people are sent. Those are agents. They're sent to change your, your narrative, to throw you off. They try to fit in with your in crowd as far as my subscribers, my day ones, twos, and threes, okay? And the new ones, that means, well... People come in and try to fit in with your peeps, okay? And try to mingle and tingle with your, your people in your comment section, and this and that and that and this. And then they throw out a little something just to see if people in your comment section are going to run with it. But see, things about this is we all, we all sit over here on this page, put our heads together about everything that's thrown at us from the comment sections to whatever people send me on my email and I throw it out there and let everybody know what's going on being said. And we sit back and think on it and then we speak on it. Okay, that's what we do over here. That's why I love it. So it's comfy cozy over here. Okay, y'all? And we, we airs out the bad. We really do. We add we, we airs them out really quick. But this is how you know when you're on to something. Okay? When you have people sending people to your emails just to send you information that's wrong, okay? Now, I know people wanted to run with when I put up the video and I said that I made a report out on someone. First of all, that don't mean nobody is afraid or scared, y'all, okay? That don't mean nobody is scared. It's just I was told to do this. I was told that if anything stands out to me, if I get any email threats, if I get any threats on the Internet, if I feel any type of way about whatever, send it in. Okay? This is what I was told. Okay? If I get people playing in my um, emails, if I get people coming to my IG that seem suspect about something, send the information in. Because there could be connections to this case. Or the other case now okay y'all so this is what I've been told to do so this is why I did it and this is just an extra precaution okay y'all because see people when they get out of their, you know their character just switch up overnight that means they were already in character there was that wolf in sheep's clothes okay y'all coming as you know this innocent person but turning into a beast or a baby beast, okay, y'all? And a lot of other, you know, instances, okay, y'all? So I just want you to think about this. I want y'all to think about how they came at Dolph. How they came at Dolph. Wolves in sheep's clothing. Now, from what we heard, this guy came to Dolph through IG, okay? Through IG. Try to make it seem innocent. They want some help. But should we be weary of people that's throwing up these signs, y'all? Okay? Are they all that innocent? Okay? And I want y'all to think about one more thing before I keep going. I want y'all to think about everybody that's been tied into Dolph's case. That has disappeared. Everybody that has disappeared has played a major part in some kind of way in these cases. Okay, y'all? 
And when I say about Dolph case, and when I put an S on there, that means the Covington case. And that also means Dolph's case. Everybody that disappeared played a part, allegedly. Okay, y'all? I want you to think about Mob Wilson. Okay, y'all? His mother was taken out. People were saying that he was this, this beast in the streets. Okay? He was a heavy hitter in the streets. Why is he so quiet if his mother was taken out? Somebody that he was close to. And then now they're, you know, these are rumors. I'm going to just say they're rumors. So allegedly, allegedly, he has fleed to the same city and state where your God he lives. Ask yourself this question, why? If, you know, ties are coming together that these cases are tied together, that Dolph being taken out is tied to the Covington case, then ask yourself this question. If people think that your God, he got something to do with Dolph's case, then wouldn't people automatically think that your God, he has something to do with Covington case? And why would Mob Wilson be hanging out with your God, he now? Why would he, out of all the places to go to flee to, why would he flee to the same city and state where your God, he is now? Some don't seem right about this, y'all. Okay. Okay. Some seems really odd about that. Okay. Now, Shondell has came up missing. Just poofed into thin air, y'all. He's tied to Dallas. He's tied to Memphis. He done disappeared. Play a big part in this case. Okay, so why is it, you know, why do people think people tripping when this one right here that's weird as all outdoors, he's very weird and strange. I don't care what nobody say. And I'm going to tell y'all the quietest people sometimes, you know, the people that's in your classroom when you're growing up and, and they're the quietest ones, those end up being the people that's, you know, the weirdest ones. It's just like when... People go hit up these schools and hit up these churches and this and that and that and this. When people find out who that person is, then a, nine times out of ten, when the you know the school people come forward and say, we knew that person, he's that one in the corner that was like really, really quiet and strange and weird. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. That's all I'm going to say when it comes to that. Okay, y'all? Now tell me if this person... Right here, it's not strange and weird, y'all. I don't care what nobody say. He's different. Okay, y'all? Now, this is Yari, y'all. Now, another thing that makes you wonder about some stuff, okay, y'all, is when Yari put out those videos... Yari admitted his own self out of his own mouth that he has Key Glock's phone number. Okay, y'all? Now, if he reached out to Dolph so that he can, you know, try to get signed or whatever, 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 why do we have Key Glock's phone number? Okay? Now, another thing, you know, people was coming in my comment section talking about you wrong about him, blah, 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 blah. You know, you know, I told y'all the agents, they come into your comment section just to steer things. Now, if this is the case, I threw out many videos. I said, if I'm wrong about Yari, then why in the world? And I said this. Don't, why is there no proof out here? No proof whatsoever that Dolph was ever around this guy. There's no pictures of him and Dolph together. Nothing. You can't find anything that attaches Dolph to this guy. Not one picture have anybody came to send me with Dolph and him together. Okay? 
Red flags, y'all. Red flags, okay? Now, if you're going to come to my comment section, which his slash producer, manager, whatever, came to my comment section and, you know, telling me he subscribed to me. I ain't never seen this man um, profile picture in my comment section ever. Okay, I've never seen it. Unless he just been following me and he never made a comment. Okay, y'all? But all of a sudden now, he wants me to think that he subscribed to me. Okay? So I can baby him a little bit. You got some explaining to do, baby boy, because it seems as if you use Yari so that you all can come up off of Dolph's name. Okay? So you all can get a little shine. All right, and then it makes you wonder: Is it more to it? Okay, he claimed that he was with Dolph on the fifteenth. Yari, okay, he said he was with Dolph on the fifteenth, y'all. Okay, he posts up a lie, allegedly, and he disappears, just like all the other people that disappeared. He disappeared, y'all, off the face of the earth. Ain't nobody know nothing. He ain't said another peep. Why start something you ain't going to finish? If you're going to say, Dolph said this, prove it. Okay? Why in the world would a man like this show, you know, a man like that? His bank account, y'all. He don't, I don't, you know, I just don't take off as that type of person to be out here walking around with his bank account and just showing people out the blue and why would he have his bank account on the 15th okay now people said that Dolph didn't put nothing in his name so why all of a sudden he got something in his name and this is the guy that he shows it to okay and now it's coming out that this guy he had to been talking to Key Glock if he got Key Glock phone number. He said he called Key Glock to ask Key Glock what's going on. And Key Glock told him he don't know. He don't know nothing. Okay. So has him and this guy been talking all along? Has Jari and Key Glock been talking? And how do a person that reaches out to you on your IG all of a sudden how did that person get into your inner circle start socializing with other people around you see some stuff you have to keep separate see I always talk about this I talk about um narcissist people when somebody don't like you this is just an experience I'm throwing out there when somebody do not like you y'all they're not happy with just having their own friends and going on about their own business. They want your friends to be their friends too so they can get in and manipulate your friends too and talk about you to your friends. Okay, y'all? I've experienced this before. Have you ever had people in your life or your family or whatever that... They are not just happy with their lives and the people they know and they're around. They want to come on your block, get to know your neighbors so they can talk about you to your neighbors. This is how you know when Satan sends people at you. Okay? They want to, you know, make friends with your next door neighbors so they can come at you and get close to you. They, they don't really care for the next door neighbors. This what happened to me before a long time ago. They get in, they get close to your neighbors, and then they act like they like your neighbors, but they don't. They're just using them. Oh, let's throw a little barbecue. That's this, they, that. They stand in your next door neighbor's, you know, backyard, and they throw in glass bottles in yours. Okay? This is how Satan sends people at you. Okay? When somebody has a park next to their house 
but they come around your house to go to the park. This is how people watch your house. Is y'all is getting me now? They infiltrate your circle, your surroundings, so they can be nosy. They can watch you, find out things. So how did it go from Yari reaching out to Dolph on, you know, IG, to now he has your right-hand man's phone number. He's calling him, y'all. Now, if he had got that close to Dolph and tied into everything that was going on with Dolph, and his music was so grand that Dolph was about to sign him, what, what, what was taking Dolph so long to sign him? Why didn't he get signed, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Okay? Let's keep going. I put this picture up because they're pretty much throwing up the same signs, y'all. Same sign. Are there ties? Ask yourself this question. One thing I've learned, like I've told y'all before, is when you get to a little snag in a case that you're following, okay, you're following like everybody else. And then people start, their attitudes start changing. They start coming at you. You're on to something at this point. And they want to get you off of that. So you need to get back on it. Okay, y'all? You need to get back on it. Okay. So, why are they throwing up the same signs, y'all? The same people that disappeared. Hmm? The same people that was there in the beginning. This guy, mother gets taken out right before Dolph. People tie in the car to both cases. Okay, this guy, the first person that speaks on it, the whole thing after Dolph gets taken out, two of the first, are there connections, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Starving artist, okay? A starving artist. Are there ties? The very people that, you know, when I put that video up, I don't know why I do the things I do, y'all. But something comes to me and tells me, put these three pictures together. Where are they now? If you look at these two right here, to be honest with y'all, Yari look like a starving Shandell. To be honest, are there ties, y'all? Could there be some ties from St. Louis? To Memphis. Ask yourself this question. Are there some ties, y'all? Let's keep going. So, when you look at this guy right here, like I said, I'm going to tell y'all what I get from this guy. Struggle. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Okay? What I also get from this guy, some kind of deception. Some kind of ties. Something, y'all. Something is going on. Something definitely is going on. 15th, 16th, 17th. Who all was around off? 
who all communicated with Dolph in those last couple days. Now there's a story coming out. Now I don't know if this is true or not, but people are saying that when Dolph was taken out at Makita's, a police officer was going through his phone. From my understanding, the police are not supposed to touch no evidence till the people come out. So why was a police going through Dolph's phone? Okay. Was it to erase the last people that he was talking to? But don't he know people still can pull those things up if they want to? Now, let's think about the last people that say they talked it off, y'all. Snoop bands, right? Is Snoop bands a part of this mess too, y'all? Was he to throw in, you know, I did, you know, Nolf did call me and I called him back because I was busy. The boss man calls you, but you're too busy to talk because you're getting your hair cut. Why was the police erasing Dolph's calls? Who was they trying to clear their name, y'all? You know, clear my name. Who was they trying to clear, y'all, that Dolph had just talked to? Or was in Dolph's phone. Don't they know? You know, police ain't stupid. I know they know you can go to the phone, the record, you know, the, po the, the, the um, phone company and still pull the records of whatever, whatever. This is what the ABC boys do. If this guy said he was with Dolph on the 15th, then, then that means that Dolph talked to him too. Why was his phone calls being erased, y'all? And why are people getting all in their feelings? If you can reach out to me and try to defend this guy on my comment section, then why aren't you putting in some proof, some evidence that Dolph was actually around this person? Like he said he was. And if he really wasn't ever around this person, but only talked to this guy on the phone, why did this guy lie? Okay, y'all. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.